Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Retro Gamers Club podcast. This is something new I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do it on a weekly basis where I spend a few minutes, five, ten, half hour, hour, who knows how long, just giving you ideas, what's going on with the club, ideas that are in my head, giving some feedback as to questions that have been asked, things like that. Maybe demo games, who knows. So, for this first one, I just wanted to just bring the members and non-members up to speed what's going on with 8-Bit Millie Games, with the Retro Gamers Club, and eventually the Retro Game Store and Gallery that I'm sitting in right now, which I'm working on. So, the first thing I, I wrote myself a little list here because I like to forget things. First thing I wanted to just bring up is that I have some upcoming events in the Western Pennsylvania, Ohio area. If you want to come check them out, we got the the Cleveland Classic Gaming in Ohio. It's it should be kind of hard to say. The Cleveland Classic Gaming event in Cleveland, Ohio, is at the IX Center. It's on Saturday, September twenty fourth. I'll have a table out. I'll have some games there for sale. I'll have Crazy Chicky Jr. If there's any left, I'm down to 15. I'll have some CCR. I'll have some Turmoil. I'll have some Arcadian. I'll also have, besides what I normally do is the screen just showing the games, I'm going to have another screen that's going to have a demo of Virix because we're working on Virix right now. So you'll get to see some Virix gameplay. That would be pretty cool. And then we have another show pretty much right after it on October 1st and 2nd in Pittsburgh Gaming Expo. That's in Monroeville, which is just north of Pittsburgh. That's going to be a two-day show, and it'll basically be the same content as was in Cleveland because it's the following week. Then our next show is in November 5th on Saturday. It's in Columbus, Ohio. It's the TORGS, which stands for the Ohio Retro Gaming Society. It's a big expo. At this one, Virex will be on sale. It should go out for sale to members mid-October. And I may do like I did with Crazy Chicken, where there's a 30-day window where members only can purchase it. But at the show, member or non-member, you'll be able to purchase it. It's just one of those catch-22s. But if you're a non-member and you order it prior to the release to non-members, you have to wait until it ships. I may. I'm still working on that. But Virex will be on sale. And Joe the Eskimo will be on demo. So you can see how Joe the Eskimo works. It won't be finished, but it will be on demo. Well, it will be close to finished, actually. And November 5th, yeah, it should be basically in the beta testing stage at that point. Then I wanted to give you an idea of some upcoming games. I have a list, or we have a list on the site that lists all these various games and ideas that we had. And these were... Some of them have been fleshed out. Virix, Joe the Eskimo, Great Castle. Other ones are just ideas that we may or may not pursue immediately. They may be back burner ideas. But here's the upcoming games. We have Virix, which is mid-October. We have Joe the Eskimo, which will be mid-November. Joe the Eskimo, if you're unfamiliar with Joe the Eskimo, think Super Mario World, but think ColecoVision. Joe the Eskimo is that style of game. It's a side-scrolling platformer game where you have multiple worlds or levels, and you have to accomplish certain things to get through it. It'll be a mega cart, which means it will be a 128K cartridge, and it should have 30, 40 worlds, if not more. So there's going to be a lot of gameplay in there. So Joe the Eskimo will be in mid-November. That's basically our Christmas game. That since it's a mega car, it won't be a fifty dollar game or forty dollar game. It's going to be sixty five. It's just that it just takes more chips. It takes a different board, takes more chips. We are working on a different cartridge case so that we don't have to use recycled donor cartridges. We're going to hopefully find out more of that in the next week or so. And if that works out, we're going to go with that because I'd prefer not to. I'd prefer to keep the game, the old games, in their cartridges the way they are. I'm getting kind of tired of coring Donkey Kong games. I mean, I have cored 700 of their routes, cartridges so far, and I'm starting to feel bad about it. But it has to do it. I mean, you have no options yet. But we're working on those options. So, Joe the Eskimo, mid-November. 
Grey Castle, if you don't remember it. Grey Castle. I think Grey Castle actually has a real name now. Grey Castle Northlands. Grey Castle, because this is such a different concept for a game for the ColecoVision, text only, context based controls where you tell it to do things, look here, go there, so forth. Since it's such a different style of game, we're going to handle it in a different way. Besides the fact it's going to be a mega cart because it's a giant world. I mean, this is a giant world you explore in. I mean, there is roughly 16,000, not rooms, but spaces in this world to explore. Hundreds of NPC, non-player characters, monsters, quests, mini quests, things you got to do to go to the next place. Tons of stuff in Grey Castle. Grey Castle is going to be digital only to start with. In December, about December 15th, it's going to be free to members. You get to download it. If you're a member, you get to download it, play it on your emulator, put it on your Atari Max Ultimate cartridge, whatever you have, and play it. If you're a non-member, you'll be able to purchase it through the store to do the same. But it makes more sense to become a member because same price, maybe a little bit more that you would pay for the digital version, you now get free versions or free digital versions of every game that comes out. So you should still get the members. That's RetroGamersClub.us. So, Great Castle Northlands is going to be digital only December 15th. And then the last game I'm going to talk about today is Arcadian. Recall that game? Some people liked it. Some people didn't like it. Some people ragged on it on YouTube. Some people made a career out of ragging on it on YouTube. Or Arcadian 2, Infiltrator. Coming out in January. That's all I'm going to say about it. But it will be there. And you can see right there, we have a clone king. He watches us all the time. He's watching you. So there you go. Just a little update. What's going on with the Gamers Club? If you're not a member, consider becoming a member. Oh, like I say, I'll put it down in the description. Where I'll actually put it right here across the screen. RetroGamersClub.us $50 a year. Free access to all the all the games that we've written so far. There are four or five digital copies you can download right now. As the games come out, they go up on the digitally. After they've been released on the hard copy and the cartridge, they go digitally. Great Castle is going to be on the digital. Check it out. Think about doing it. Let me know what you think. Should I pursue this? This podcast? I kind of like it. I like talking to you guys. Good day.